This is a piece of industrial equipment that I built a couple of years ago. Ever since we moved, I've never used it again, so I want to show really quick in this casual video how I repurposed this into a toy for my uh, toddler daughter. Originally, this thing housed my isolation transformer and auto transformer, had some MCB RCD functionality, some emergency exit, and it contained a lot of other safety functionality like automatic shutoff, temperature, protection, uh, protective earth monitoring, and so on and so forth. It allowed me to use the auto transformer and the isolation transformer independently of each other, but also to put them in series. This was achieved by actuating a bunch of industrial relays in the correct order. And just to get it out of the way right away, of course, this equipment does not house any 300 volts AC anymore. It's completely safe and actuated by just a 12 volt uh, DC power supply. So let's turn it on. After it started up, it just blinks in a pseudo random pattern and the speed with which it blinks can be adjusted. All of these are 8mm duo LEDs, which means they can essentially blink red or green, or both at the same time, which makes orange. There's a second mode, which actuates the relays. In this mode, it's essentially counting up and also showing the counter value at the LEDs at the same time. Here you can see how the relays are actuated. If you press this button, then it just randomizes the counter value. These two other buttons just play some noise currently. The auto transformer button is playing a sound that is inspired by the Boeing 737 TCAS sound. And the isolation transformer just plays a confirmation sound. Where the auto transformer was previously, there's now a stepper motor. I'm not using the stepper to drive the output, but I'm actually using it as an input because I didn't have a rotary encoder. All of the logic is handled by the main microcontroller, which is an Atmel 8090 CAN 128. There's also a second PCB, which is based around a 80 mega 8 and it handles all the inputs and outputs on the front panel. I've ripped out the internals of the voltmeter and replaced the resistor by something that I can drive off 5 volts. This means when I turn the knob in either direction, the indicated voltage increases. One side of the RCD is actually wired up to two port pins and a resistor in series so that I can do say fault current of about 40 milliamps. That's sufficient to trip the RCD. The software is written so that when the indicated voltage passes 300 volts AC, the RCD is tripped. And of course, there's the emergency button, which my daughter just loves. I hope you liked this short video. Thanks for watching. Bye.